Hey guys, welcome back to the makeup chair. For today's Monday makeup lesson, I'm talking about dealing with under eye circles. I promised you guys that I would do it this week and I've been doing a lot of research, reading through all your comments to figure out what are the main complaints for dealing with under eye circles. Now I talk a little bit about this in my book. If you go to chapter two and on page like 10 and 11, I talk about finding the right concealers, the shades, the tones, the different types of concealers, and also how to choose the corrector tone too. So there's two ways to deal with under eye circles. One is for the people who kind of have a little bit of an issue underneath their eyes. Use a regular concealer, but with a slightly pink, kind of warm, ready kind of tone. And that will just lift those under eyes, make it a lot brighter underneath the eyes. For instance, I use MAC NC20 on all of my skin because it has kind of a yellow tone in it. But then I would use NW20 underneath my eyes because it has that pink tone to it. So it's just gonna lift my skin. So that's option one and that works for most people. Then you have option two, and this is for people with hardcore under eye circles. They're irritating, they're annoying, nobody likes them. So for you, I would recommend using a corrector tone first and then your concealer. And I know it sounds like an extra step, but bear in mind it'll only take two seconds and you won't need to top up your makeup during the day because it's gonna keep that nice bright under eye for the entire day. Choosing the right corrector tone can be a little bit tricky, but there's two things that you need to consider, whether you're a light to dark skin tone and then whether you have warm, cool, or neutral undertone. We're gonna divide the correctors into two separate groups. We have our reds and our pinks, and then we have our peaches and our oranges. The reds and the pinks work great for anybody who has neutral to cool skin tone. So already have that pink tone in their skin, you wanna go for red tones and slightly pink tones, and it depends on how dark and how light your skin is, depending on how dark and how light you're gonna go with your pink or your red. Then for the warm people, you're gonna go from peaches to oranges. So once again, the oranges for people with very dark skin tone and the peaches for more of the lighter skin tones. So you're gonna go up and down the spectrum depending on how light and how dark your skin is. The lighter your skin is, the closer to the peaches and the pinks you're gonna be, and the darker your skin is, the closer to the reds and the oranges you're gonna be. I talk about figuring out your undertone in chapter three of my book, so if you don't know, go and check that one out. Finding the exact shade can be a little bit tricky. Sometimes you'll need to get a palette and kind of mix and match the tones together, or you can use lipsticks if you're in a hurry. Provided these aren't a matte finish, glossy finish, or have any plumping effect to it, make sure it's just a nice basic satin finish lipstick and you can use it underneath your eyes you are only going to need a very small amount. So apply it on the back of your hand. I actually mixed up two shades because I have a neutral undertone. So I used a little bit of pink and a little bit of peach, mixed the two shades together and I just applied it where it's needed and I actually used a small lip brush for this. Allow the corrector to kind of settle on the skin and then you can go in with your concealer. Now you can use option one here and actually use a pink or a peach toned concealer underneath the eyes again to kind of double up and make sure that it's really covered. Or if you find that the corrector does its job, then you can just go ahead and apply your regular concealer or your foundation, even if it has like, say, a yellow tone in it. Remember, you'll have to set it with powder, especially if you're using a lipstick because it has that kind of oily residue. So make sure you're setting it with powder underneath or using a setting spray to hold it in place. And there you go. That is how you cover up under eye circles. Now, make sure to leave a comment with any issues that you might have. And bear in mind, not everybody will be able to use lipstick underneath their eyes. You will have to actually go and find the right corrector tones. But a lot a lot of the especially higher end stores will offer them in a few different shades and NYX is also a great one for using the different tones in their concealers and their correctors. Definitely let me know what you'd like to see for next Monday. I'm also going to be doing lots of makeup tutorials every Friday from now on so definitely check out this Friday and I will see you guys then. Yeah. And it can look a little bit dull sometimes. Most women we actually have it around our nose. You can use a concealer brush, your fingers or a damp sponge.